lots of things happen in NXT, man. Lots of different surprises. Hey, you were, I will say this. You were right. They went toe to toe with the election. They did not back down. Uh, oh. they, they spared nothing here. Uh, one of the big things that, that shocked me the most seemed to shock everyone else online was the bloodline 2.0 making an appearance, right? With, yeah. um, with the Tonga twins and, and with Jacob Fatu, no solo Sokoa. And they dominated. They looked like a real deal faction there. A lot of people were saying they this is the best they've looked as a group, minus Solo Sokoa. What do you think, your buddy? Does a Bloodline 2.0 need Solo? There wasn't that much of a difference. The only difference was these three men brutalized these other four men in rabid faction fashion. Um, if this was on SmackDown, they'd be waiting for Solo to tell them what to do. But they just hit the green light in a non-stop pedal through the metal. So it was it was more uh, intense than it would be if Solo was there. But I don't think they'll be better without him. I don't think they'll be worse without him either. It just was another day. Interesting. Uh, to me, I don't know. I, I feel like Jacob Batu screams more of a leader for this group than Solo Sokoa. And I, I, I know they're, they're, they're pushing Solo Sokoa as, as much as they can right now. And I, I still, I just don't buy it. I don't buy it with him. I, I just don't think he has the charisma. I don't think he has the personality to be a leader for that group. Uh, is he a WWE superstar? For sure. For sure. But like, I just feel like it's just, um, you know, sometimes you see actors in different movies where it's like, it seems like a miscast. And that's what I feel like right here. I feel like it's a miscast. I feel like, I really feel like Jacob Fight 2 uh, every week is showing more and more like he's a real deal. And I think WWE sees that in him, and I think they have a better long-term plan for him than they do for Solo right now. What goes back to being Solo was Roman Reigns' enforcer. Then after WrestleMania, he's a whole new character. Like, we didn't. We did, it was a still a sudden, such a sudden, like br- brunt force change that we didn't get a chance to digest or follow this tra- this trajectory to this character that he is now. Now you have Jacob Fatu rumored to be facing Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood. There you go. Might give him his chance to shine. See, maybe a little test run for him in the main event picture scene. See how that goes. I'm interested. I don't, I don't, I don't know much about Jacob Fatu outside of WWE. But I hear nothing but good things. Have you have you seen any of his work in MLW? No, I've heard a lot. Of that. I heard a lot of good things. I talked to your buddy. Uh he he knew him, hung out with him, he knows him pretty well. So he's telling me about him. Oh, and, Kevin. Uh, what? Kevin, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, I'm excited well, yeah. now that that's the rumor is true. I'm curious how they go that route. He was planted last week on SmackDown, but this my little taste of what Jacob Batu could do. The main event scene outside of Solo's shadow that should be more exciting and might lead to where this future's going outside of this robbery. I feel like there is no doubt that Jacob Batu is a, a physical specimen in that ring. Uh, but I, I feel like the WWE audience, the, the mainstream audience that don't, that are, I think you're the majority here that don't know the work of Jacob Fatu from MLW and the independents, they haven't seen anything yet. Like, I feel like the WWE hasn't really given him mic time per se, right? No, can he talk? The dude can talk. He is a personality, he has a lot of charisma. The dude can cut a promo. And I haven't seen that. That's the one thing that I feel like that's been bothering me with Solo Sokoa, and and like from like you know, a main antagonist, right? With their pitching Solo to be the best bad guys are the best. Some of the best talkers, and 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 Solo just is not doing it. And Jacob Fatu, like dude, when he starts spitting on that mic. I think everyone's jaws are going to be on the ground. They're going to be floored with this guy. I cannot well, wait till it gets a live mic. Well, Solo also didn't talk when Roman was in the bloodline. Remember, he no, he spoke, no. Or and, and there was, was there, there was a reason. Solo was talking. There was a reason for that. But like now, we're hearing him talk more and more. It's just like I wonder if they're going that route with Jacob or two, not letting him speak as much. But we'll see what happens. I, I, I also wonder if they did that with Solo because like they're trying to play to the strengths. Like maybe he's just not a natural talker. There's nothing wrong with that. He wasn't too bad you know? in NXT. 
Again, it was a different, different pond. It's different. It's different. I don't know, man. To me, I, I do feel a difference there with with the bloodline at NXT. Uh, it does make me wonder why they did this. You know, I, I know there's a little beef with the Street Profits, but like, that, yeah. you know, why no solo? You know, um, I'm going to be entered on this Friday on debut in USA. Yeah. And they're opening the match, Solo and Cody. Well, I think, the, I think they mentioned they're that, they're the the, that they was getting ready for the Steel Cage match. I think they mentioned yeah. that in the commentary. So it, it'll be interesting. The, the fact that they're opening segment, definitely Solo's not winning. No, I don't think so. So then what? So, uh, you know, Jacob Fatu with bad blood somehow. <laughs> 